So I just bought new uh, fairings. This is not for my bike, but for newer generation of my bike. And I got it for pretty low price. And seems like there's a scratch on the right side. And on the left side, there's some holes. And today video, I'm gonna try to fix this hole and the scratch using epoxy glue, but this is not sponsored. Okay, maybe I will start with the scratch one, because this one has a deep scratch on here, and it's kinda rough, and I need to sandpaper it until it's smooth, and I will start with 120 until 600 and then I will sandpaper again after I give the uh, blue and then I can paint with uh, epoxy paint and then sandpaper again and give it a red color paint so I will start sandpapering okay I think enough and now I will wash it with water and clean this thing off before I apply some epoxy glue into this scratch okay I just finished washing up this firing and dry up with some tissue and I'm gonna start applying some epoxy glue into this area Okay, now I will let this thing dry, uh, it's about 5 or 10 minutes and I will sandpaper it a little bit. Okay, now I'm gonna work on this uh, left side because this one has a big hole on it. I'm gonna uh, sandpaper it because this one is kinda rough and I'm gonna uh, do the same thing like before. Alright, now before I apply some glue into this hole, I'm gonna uh, tape this side on the inside and to make sure the glue doesn't come off from this side. And don't forget to sandpaper it. Okay, on this one I'm gonna leave it overnight because this one needs some time for cure and then I'm gonna try to add in more glue on this scratch and before I add in more glue I will sandpaper it. Alright, uh, I'm gonna leave it overnight or 24 hours because this is uh, need some time to cure it says 5 minutes but I think it's not completely dry and I will leave it for a couple hours okay the glue is already cured and I'm already uh, sandpaper it a little bit using my Dremel uh, this is the rough one, this is uh, 100, 120 grit sandpaper and I sandpaper it too much and I think it's got on the plastic and maybe I need to be careful next time and this one is not uh, sandpaper yet but I'm gonna sandpaper it right now
Alright, it's done and I think this is already smooth and I'm gonna wash it with water because this is so much dust on here and remember if you are a uh, sandpaper this thing you need to wear mask or something like that so you won't breathe the debris or dust like this so yeah now I'm gonna wash it and continue with 600 800 and then 1000 Alright, now I think this is all done. Now I can just uh, wash it with water again and give it uh, some paint with uh, first thing. You need to paint it with primary paint if you want and then you can paint it using any color you want. Okay, now I'm gonna peel this sticker off because who needs stickers? I don't care. Okay, after you peel off this uh, sticker, you can see this kind of dark side and brighter side. It's because this uh, this sticker is protecting this paint on here from the sun, and it's look kind of weird. How to fix this? You can just. Uh, sandpaper it with 1000 grit or 2000 grit or more and you can fix this oh, stupid things just making sure if any side of this uh, fairings doesn't have any scratch again and I think this one is good just this side has uh, some scratch but it's just a little bit so I can just uh, sandpaper it with 120 grit 800 and then 1000 and 2000 don't forget to add in some water because you can burn or melt the plastic okay now I'm gonna uh, wash it alright I just finished uh, painting this firing and using this uh, kind of spray paint and before I painting it into the right color I just paint it first with epoxy paint and I sandpaper it a little bit and uh, give it a red paint on this wall firing and you can see on here there is uh, some like uh, then I think I need to use uh, some epoxy filler to make this thing uh, this thing smoother but I don't have any of epoxy filler so I just using this epoxy glue but it's okay for cheap repair because I don't want to waste too much uh, money for repairing this pairing uh, oh yeah I don't paint this back off because who wants to look this and I think this is not the smoothest paint looks not too bad and on this side there's a dent like on this uh, fairing you can see on here and yeah so I think this is not completely dry because I just paint it on right now it's 8 p.m. I just paint it on 6 p.m. and I will let this completely dry maybe 24 hours tomorrow maybe I will install this firing okay now I'm gonna skip this video until tomorrow